What's up everybody, Bo Hunt and back with another video. Today is Sunday, it's the day before my birthday. Technically this weekend I celebrated my birthday. Uh, 47 years old, old enough to be your father. Get off the internet, young man, go do your, and young woman and young other, you need to go do your homework. Um, I know that I said that I have a kind of a collection of 11 or 12 different uh, toy lines that I collect now for ease of use, but also just because, and that is absolutely true. Um, one of the lines that I connect, collect is a Fortnite, um, or seven inch Fortnite toys, McFarland. So I don't collect all Fortnite toys. There's too many of them. I don't, I'm not as much of a, of a fan of all of them as I am of the, uh, seven inch, um, uh, McFarland ones. So, uh, but but this was just too much of a steal. It was normally thirty-seven dollars or whatever it is, and it was on sale for like ten bucks. So I was like, oh, I've got to grab it. You know, I've got to grab that. Come on. Um, you know, that's it. Whoa! I didn't know it came with this much stuff. So, the reason I was going to grab it is, sure, you got two figures here. Let's see if I can pop them out here in a second. Here, I got two figures. Um, don't tell me they got wires. Man. So you got two figures here, which were really cool, I thought. Leviathan here, who's, it's a funny name because he's a tiny fish and not a big fish. Um, I don't know who makes, who, who makes this? Who's, who's, who's the developer here? Uh, oh, oh, it's Jazzwares, okay. So Jazzwares, I've heard a lot of people suggest that I try some Jazzware toys, but I'm just not a huge fan. Ooh, they do lock in place really tight, so that's nice. Once you get them in a nice position, they'll probably hold. So that's a cool looking figure. Um, this one I am not a fan of at all. I don't like um, nutcrackers. I've always kind of disliked the look of them. <laughs> I don't hate them or anything like that, but they're just kind of goofy. So, but it's cool that he's a, I guess a nutcracker is going to come up and kill you. Um, but this was, this was the reason I bought it. Um, I'm not going to build necessarily a tower out of these, but most of these are, th I think all of them, let's see here are literally, no, not all of them, but some of them are a stand so that you can actually use these as a stand for this size figure or whatever. I have an entire box of stands that I use, um, you know, I always have for putting up displays, putting up characters, stuff like that. Oh, wow, look at that. Those are the spikes, I guess. Pretty cool. I guess they go together and you do stuff with those. Let's see here. Uh, but stands are just always really, really handy. You can never have enough stands. And as I always say, if your toy comes with an actual stand, for, for example, this is an actual stand for this guy here, for Leviathan, then you are golden in my book because one of the number one issues you're gonna run into if you're doing a lot of collecting is that you don't have um, enough stands for your figures and stuff. And a lot of them will just um, fall, right? And, you know, as soon as you stand them up, boom. Right now I have a problem with the McFarlane uh, Space Marine Sister of Battle, one of the Sisters of Battle I have, and she just won't stand up uh, even on her stand. So you've got to have a decent stand, but you also have a decent figure that can hold that, whoa, geez, that can hold that pose. So you get all these, not all of them are stands, actually only a few of them. I'm curious though why, if, if these are just extra stands they're giving you, or if that's something to do with the assembly. I'm betting it has something to do with the assembly. So let's look at all that a little bit. I'll probably stop and put these together and see what you're supposed to do with it. Really, really cool for 10 bucks. I mean, you can never go wrong with stuff that um, can help create a display. Let's pick up these that I dropped on the floor. Really, seriously, you can't. So if you get a display part, cool. And when I got the package, it's actually kind of heavy for 10 bucks in plastic, not bad. Can this pop out? Oh, come on. I hate when they put bubble wrap them in there. That's just a cool little part. I mean, you could use that uh, on other models or kits or something. That's just an interesting little part. Check it out. Very cool. It looks like uh, you can just put some beers in there and go to the beach. Have a good day. Oh, now this is something I wanted too. This is even just for Fortnite, or even for Fortnite, it's great by itself. But you could use this probably in a lot of different, this would be an interesting part you might be able to use in some other, um, you know, you could might take this part off and use that in some other mock-up or kit bash or whatever. I guess the idea is you're, you're gonna hit that and he's gonna jump up. On the package here, it's showing that. So I'm guessing there's some, uh, like in the game, you know, that, that's what happens. I've played the game a few more times now. I'm still not, 
really into it. I, you know, I, I'm not a big, uh, whatchamacallit, player. Those ones where you, everybody kills each other until there's one left. Battle Royales, I don't do a lot of those. But uh, Fortnite is really a hangout for most players, I think. A lot of young people play it, really young people. And they just kind of hang out. Do the, there's PvE content, there's the social area, all the costumes. It does the updates every every uh, so often that are just like a story. And they're really neat updates. I just logged into one and on the Switch, and the update was this cool, um, uh, like, I don't know, you had to go in and help with like the time thing or whatever. It's just this weird story. All of a sudden you're playing through it. So these are all the parts, I guess, that we're gonna be looking at. Oh, okay, so they simply go together really, really easily. Um, I wasn't gonna buy this and I just read the reviews and stuff and people said, yeah, they're really fun. And once you assemble it, the little thing actually kind of is pretty sturdy. It sticks together pretty well. Oh, wow. This is not gonna be as easy as I thought. So, Anyway, that's the opening of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble it together in like the tower form, take a few minutes to do that and come back and show you that because right as it is right now, this just looks like a bunch of plastic, which is kind of how it's supposed to look, but I wanna make it look, you know, see what it looks like when it's being used as intended. And be sure to recycle all this bubble wrap, by the way, if you can. Okay, so I've spent a few minutes assembling some stuff here. I wanted to point out something kind of interesting to see here. Um, you know, this, they're going to show you how you can build a box, make sure you don't close the box so that you can actually remove everything. Um, and it's, it's pretty neat how it works. It snaps together pretty nice. It's a bit complicated to be honest with you, especially if you got a kid, you might want to be careful with that. It's kind of hard to get together. Once you learn the trick of how they assemble though, it's much easier. But the general idea is that you're going to build a tower like this. So you're going to build the bottom and it's all open. And it's supposed to have the traps and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really only meant to build something like this. Nothing really with a closed roof. Um, as you can see, when you get to trying to close the roof here, you'll see that you can't close the... Now, maybe there's a certain part, but every corner is like that. It has that little lip there that blocks that. So maybe I can reverse that. You know, you, there might be a configuration that allows you to build a solid box. But I wanted to leave that to show you that there, you know, it's not really quite designed for that. I haven't used these at all, but these might be a solution as well to kind of do it. But you can build these. I thought this was cool. You can build these little boxes they were talking about and set them there. And you can have a stand and a plug. Oop, there we go. Uh, a foot plug for a stand here. Let me see if I can get old Leviathan here to stand up a bit. His feet are just like really hard there. So you, let's plug his foot in and then you can kind of put that on your shelf. One of the reasons these, you know, it's good, it's kind of cool to have different uh, height of stands. Um, if you ever have several, don't just use the same, the same as that you can have a, a variance and you know how, you know, like your, some of your figures can be up here and some down here. And also you need some up high so that um, if you ever looked at my videos, I try to keep something up high so that it doesn't look, look, look like a shelf with just everything down below and nothing up high. So that's kind of cool. You could do like a stand that looks like that, like he's standing on a box or whatever. So just, I was just messing with it for a little bit. I'm not gonna build the whole thing. It would take a couple hours of my Sunday afternoon here. But I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was a neat system. It's not perfect. There's There might be, like I said, a configuration that allows you to build a roof and stuff. I'll have to figure that out. But in the meanwhile, I think it'd be fun just to build a tall tower like they've indicated here and just have figures hanging off of it. That would be really fun. So for 10 bucks, yeah, I can't even remember where I got it, but for 10 bucks, this is not a bad deal. If you're ever looking for, if you want to keep an eye out for deals on toys and stuff, try uh, Slick Deals and Kinja Deals, K-I-N-J-A Deals. I follow them on Twitter and I just check the site once in a while and I just troll the toy section. You can find stuff like that. It'll just give you a kind of a high, you know, a, 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 a heads up on cheaper toys. Um, but also you can go directly to the um, Walmart sites, stuff like that, look in their clearance, you know, Target. Stuff like this is really, uh, you know, stuff that's been produced in the millions and millions. I'm sure you'll find them on sale at some point. So it's a pretty neat kit. You know, would I spend, would I spend the 35 on? No, unless my kid was way into Fortnite and wanted to build a whole thing here. That's kind of fun. But the figures aren't really that amazing. They're kind of cool, but I don't like the four or five inch figures. I, I'm a seven inch figure McFarland figure guy myself but a lot of fun check it out um, get it on clearance and I'd say it'd be worth it take it easy everybody bye-bye